Okay, so we actually found a Ford that Najla likes. I do. This right here, what, what is it that you love about this? I love it because it's very masculine and aggressive. That's how I like aggressive it. Aggressive and masculine and very big. So sometimes yep. size matters when it comes to uh, Fords. Sometimes. Let's go. <laughs> We're here at Alfa Romeo, one of the newest brands to come to the U.S. Um, I absolutely love their SUV, uh, 500 horsepower, Ferrari-derived engine. Uh, I think it's pretty badass, and it's cool to see a new car brand here, so I give it a hot. I would give it a hot, but not, because you look at it first glimpse, it's like, oh, it's like super nice, and then you keep looking at it, and then it's like, okay. And then the interior is super nice, it's comfortable, but you get in the car and it's like there's no room. Like, I don't know if it's because people in Europe are smaller than us, but I didn't fit in it, so. Um, I'm definitely gonna say it's hot, just with the mystery factor. Like, there's so much going on with the logo. We were trying to figure out what it was, uh, is Serpent eating a person, but later we found out it's being reborn out of the whole thing. So it just sounds like there's a lot of uh, background to it and it's very intriguing to me. Yeah, the, the logo is just my main focus. It's like, there's like a clover, then there's like a dragon serpent that's eating someone. I don't care if they say it's rebirth, it's definitely eating someone. <laughs> and there's a cross, like what is going on? And just because of the confusion, I just, I don't, I don't really know how to feel about it actually. I'm confused still. Um, I would say it's hot because um, I've never heard of Alfa Romero, so it, it's nice to, to have new cars here, I guess. Um, and then interior is good, too. All right, so I think we have what? One, two? More no. Okay, so three hots, two knots. Let's move on to, um, let's check out BMW. All right, so we got here to BMW and the biggest thing they have this year, I think, is the release of the X7 SUV, their supersized SUV. Uh, we just took a look at it over there, pretty awesome. It's massive. Um, and also the i8 convertible that just came out. Um, I'm a huge fan of that car as well. Uh, I had an i8 coupe uh, last year, drove it for a little bit, loved it. Um, really cool concept with a hybrid, uh, high performance hybrid. I think BMW is just hot, um, especially their M vehicles. Uh, you can't go wrong with them. Uh, they are always a little better handling than their Mercedes equivalent, and uh, and they're just sexy. I love the way they're styled. They're a little bit more aggressive, um, so big ups. I mean, BMW obviously is a very sexy car, but I don't know. It's me, Mercedes over BMW any day. So I'm gonna say not and these colors they have showing. <laughs> I, I don't know what they're thinking they're out here. There. This one's awesome. Yeah, but this purple back here, it's like it's a obnoxious. purple drank, whatever you want to call it. So. <laughs> I'd say it's hot. I mean, me personally, I like BMW over Mercedes, but that's just me. I don't know, I see affordable luxury. Um, they're very safe. I don't know, I just, I love BMW. Sorry, BMW, but I'm going to say not. I'm totally biased. I love Mercedes, and these are just, I don't know. Uh, they're overrated. Like That's all I can say. BMW, overrated. Right. Okay, basic. Um, I would say it's hot. I'm a little hurt because I drive a little 2 Series <laughs> BMW, and it's Valencia orange. So it's, I like the BMW. They look mean, um, and mine's a bright color. So all definitely right. see me going down the street. <laughs> High five, two hots. All right, let's go check out other stuff. We are here at Infinity. Um, people know Infinity as sort of like the luxury arm of Nissan. I think they make some of the sexiest Japanese interiors. Uh, the outside is pretty cool too. I especially love their two-door coupe, the Q60, I believe they call it now. They keep on changing the name. What are your thoughts? I love the sleek design. I think it's beautiful. And what about you, Nazla? To me, the interiors are hot, the outside is not. It's like, uh, you know, sometimes the outside, you just can't judge what's going on, right? You can't judge <laughs> no. the book by its cover. There we go. So you can't Only judge Infinity colors. by its Only covers. The colors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next one. 
So we're here at Mercedes-Benz and I'm going to start by saying yes, I really like Mercedes uh, and I especially love all their AMG models. The bodywork on them is awesome. Uh, the engines are just spectacularly um, built and incredibly powerful. Uh, but what I don't like about what they're doing is they keep on bringing the AMG name down market. So like their special vehicles are kind of getting cheaper and cheaper. And I get that they're trying to get more people in them, but it's kind of making the brand a little bit cheap in my opinion. So I'm ambivalent. I would say hot, but on its way down to not. <laughs> I don't care if they make it cheap. Cheap is still sexy. I love it. I love it. My mom has Mercedes. My aunt has Mercedes. So I feel like it's a very, it makes me think of a strong woman when I, when I see someone driving it. So I love it. Hot, hot, hot. I, <laughs> I used to drive a Mercedes CLS 320 convertible. So I love it, obviously. Um, but to me, the ultimate dream vehicle is a Mercedes G Wagon, and I don't see it here, which is I'm, I'm very disappointed. I think it's in that. all the way back there, actually. Okay, well, I'm going to get in it and driving away and stealing it. But that to me is like the dream car. So hot, hot, hot Mercedes all the way. All right. I'd say it's hot. I mean, it's Mercedes. You can't go wrong with Mercedes. I've only heard good things about them. Um, driving in their car is super nice. I just haven't had a bad experience, so. Um, I would say it's a definite hot. Uh, I definitely agree the G-Wagon is the best car out there, um, black on black, matte black. Um, and my ex drove a, a C300, so it, it was a good car, it was smooth. All right, cool. Let's check out some more vehicles. Where are we? Whole hog. And? Hot. Hot? No, not so hot. Last year, if you haven't checked out the video, check it out, link below. Last year, the ladies hated a Volvo. They got so much crap for it. Really? Um, I like it. I didn't say anything about it because I actually really like Volvo. I do too. I love where they're going. Like, the designs are just awesome now. The yep. interiors are just really clean. Sort of that, like, Swedish, Nordic look. Um, I love Stylish it. Stylish and elegant. Yeah, I, I know they used to be known as, like, boring like mom cars but I think they're really coming up but I did drive one recently and they're kind of the suspension is not quite the same as like the uh, German cars like Mercedes or BMW it, it they handle decently but not quite up you know with uh, with the rest of the crowd I would say but I like where they're going so like hot it. hot not I'm not crazy about <laughs> it I don't know personal preferences though okay you know. but if you ever have a kid you want to put them in a bowl right safe no. Not so much. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the next one. So we made it over to Lincoln, and I absolutely love what they're doing. Uh, everything's gotten a lot younger. It's not like your grandpa's car anymore. Uh, even the colors, like going with the purple. The interiors are super sexy. Would I buy it with my own money? Probably not, but I still love the direction they're going. Like they're finally getting some sense in them and building cooler, younger, sleeker, hotter cars. So hot. I'm going to agree. I know a lot of people think that it's old people car, but you know what? I wouldn't mind a sugar daddy in that car because it looks nice. So <laughs> I'm going to say old people still drive these. I see a lot of old people. Yeah, thumbs down. Oh. I see a lot of old people looking at them. And so whatever, no. Don't be ageist. I say it's kind of hot, like I do like the idea of everything, but I walk up to it and I see like a dad car, like a dad like golf car it. who's going to go around. Yeah, see, if you turn around, you just see a bunch of dads. Are you telling me you like dads? No. Okay. Like, I, like, I like the way the cars look and everything, but they still, they're not young enough. Like, they're right. getting there, like but halfway they're not there. there yet. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I agree with everyone here. I think only dads are looking. Like, and it's it's just like all our sugar daddies are out here. Um, but it, it's it's a good it's a good it's good looking. I mean, yeah. like they went from grandpa to dad. We, we went there. And dad is still in there. They need to go to son. You know? Yeah, they need to go to son next. So so we can like you know. Right. I think we had enough fun at Lincoln. Come on. <laughs> Thank you.
We are sitting right here at Lexus in front of the new LC500 coupe, the replacement for the SC. It was much needed. I think this thing is beautiful. Um, super cool interior, carbon fiber doors. Hot. Yeah, hot. 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 Super hot. <laughs> Lexus, uh, usually they make really conservative stuff, but this one's pretty awesome right here. Um, some of these other ones, kind of cool. Thanks for walking right through our shot. <laughs> it's okay, we need, we need free backgrounds. <laughs> it's all good. Anyway, uh, anything in particular you like here? Just this car or you like any other Lexi? I like all of them. Yeah? Yeah, they're pretty cool design. I like the interior. They're elegant. Mm. They lease they're really well. Pretty they're pretty affordable, one. actually. So. I like what Lexus did. Last year, the ladies didn't really like Lexus, mm. but mm. I didn't really agree with them on that. I'm a, I'm a fan. I like the fronts of the cars. Yeah. I think they look very cool. Yeah, they're futuristic. Good job, Definitely. Lexus. Thumbs up, hot. So we are here at Maserati. Hot. Hot? So hot. Yeah. So hot? So hot. This is another one that I'm gonna disagree with. Well, that's fine. I don't like Maserati. Like, Why not? Uh, it's, the... um, okay, so no, I, they have pretty cars, but some of them I feel like don't drive that well. Like their two door, the Gran Turismo handles poorly. I think the four door sedan, they cannot give them away. They're like there's leases for like five hundred dollars a month, and they're even paying your down payment. I mean, think about that. Like a car that's supposed to be exotic, quote unquote, and an Italian exotic, that's going for the same price as like a loaded, I don't know, um, a loaded two series BMW. Like, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. It's not selling well. Right. The brand adds to it. I mean, it's a fancy brand. I get the brand message that they're getting with, but I feel like it's it's the poor man's Ferrari. Okay. You know. <laughs> I, I that's kind of. That. I feel like that's what it is. Well, you, know? you get what you pay for. Then. That is true. You get what you pay for, and in Maserati, you don't pay as much. You kind of get that. Okay. So. Uh, so what you're saying is that they're overrated. I think they're highly overrated. Okay. Yeah, I, I think, uh, and I think for a lot of people, they think it's a nice car because they just they hear Maserati. They're like, ooh. Yeah, it's, it's the, the Italian amazing car. Uh, but by the looks of it, it's kind of hot. Yeah. Yeah, by the looks, they're great. I, I got roped into, I actually own two different ones. I hated both of them. Okay. Uh, and I was I like, drove any, yeah. So I just go for the look. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Roped in. Let's go on to the next manufacturer. So you said you own this one? No, he did. Oh, he did? No, I own an F Type. But you don't like this one? No. You, you own the to, Jaguar. Actually, I used to, yeah, I used to have, okay. well, we used to have a Mini Cooper, but. We just, it was just like a fun little car just to like mm -hmm. whip around, do whatever, do burnouts in, like yeah. just kind of screw around with it. And like, it's a good commuter for like downtown, like LA especially, because right. like parking's like really bad. So if you want to like park, find like tight parking spots, it's a good car. It's mm -hmm. like a good like city cruiser basically. What do you think about the convertible? Uh, I mean, especially because like it's, you know, it's SoCal. Like the convertible is always nice. You put the top down, like wind's flowing through your hair. Yeah. You're bumping some tunes. Like it's pretty tight. Yeah. Well, tell us about your F-Type. How long have you owned that one? Uh, I've had it for a year, and it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much no, I fun. I love F-Type. Yeah. There's so much fun. You just whip it around a corner. It's just like you gas in, like the rear end kind of skirts out, and it's like really, really a fun car to drive. And the yeah. exhaust is really nice on it. You think you're gonna keep it for a while? Uh, probably another like maybe. Two, three years, and then I might want to like get another car or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I even got the hat in for it too. Did you? Yeah. Oh, at the boutique? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, you're all decked out. Yeah, you already know. Like, <laughs> you gotta, I have to get a like gear for it at least, you know? Yeah. Avid supporter of the F Type community. Well, yeah. thank you so much for talking to us. Of course. Of course. Cool. Thank, thank you. you. We're here in front of the Corvette at Chevrolet, and I'm gonna give my vote hot. Hot. It's amazing, we love the Corvette. Like the Mustang with the Ford, uh, same same thing with the Chevrolet and the Corvette to me. It's the only one that saves. It's the only car from yeah. that brand. Yeah, I, I feel like Corvette used to be sort of the poor man's 911. It was sort of, you know, your sports car if you couldn't get something nicer. But I think it's come a long way. It's agile, it's quick, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, amazing job. 
and apparently the next version is going to be mid-engine. It's probably going to look even more exotic. So that's Pretty exciting. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All in agreement on this one. Let's check out more stuff. We're here in Toyota, and I don't really know what to say about this brand. I feel like they make Prius, and that's all I can think of. I know they make other. I know they make other cars. I disagree. I think they they make good quality cars and practical. They have a really long lifespan. Yeah. I think they're hot. They have so they have a car over there. It's a rear wheel drive car. It's their sports car. Um, it's a new version of an old car they made called the AE86, okay. the Hachiroku. It's like a really fun little sports car. That's kind of cool. This one is a hydrogen car, so it actually runs off of hydrogen fuel. That's pretty cool. That's new and unique. But uh, you know. They used to make a sports car called the Supra. You ever remember that yeah. car? Supra was awesome, but I, I haven't seen it. I hope they come out with a new version, which they're supposed to. But otherwise, I feel like it's kind of boring this year. No, I mean, they're clearly not fancy, but they're yeah. like good quality. Fair enough. All right, good, reliable, good quality Japanese yeah. car. <laughs> I think this year they are doing really well with the color blue. I think they have- It's like this in the color. The artist in me is like, yes, Blue. This is a beautiful color of blue. That is a beautiful color of blue. All right. Shade. All right. I'm giving a thumbs down for it right now. Giving... Two thumbs up for these two. Okay. All right. Let's go. Every girl's dream car right here. We're here this in is... every girl's dream car. <laughs> this is the Barbie car. The Range Rover convertible. It's also a mean girl's car. <laughs> Get in, loser. We're going I don't think I've ever gotten a not hot out of any Land Rover product. <laughs> Yeah, hot, they're, hot, they're hot. Just, 10 times hot. Hot, hot, hot. I feel like they're Jeeps. They're like the high-end Jeep for people. Yep. And people love Jeep. Land Rover kind of is that other, like, it's the high-end off-road vehicle, go anywhere, do anything. And it's always associated with luxury, with royalty. Hot, I love hot, it. Hot, 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 Big hot, fan. Hot. Not a lot of legroom back here. You do <laughs> not? No. Well, she can scoot up. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> We're here inside Mazda doing a little zoom, zoom, zoom. And uh, I love Mazda actually. They've done a huge turnaround in the last few years. Their cars are cool looking, they have beautiful interiors, they're affordable, and they're fun to drive. So I give it a thumbs up. I uh, give, give it a thumbs down. You give it a thumbs down? Oh, yeah. Why is that? I don't, li I don't like it, they look cheap. Well, I, I do can't like Mazdas, but um, I think this particular car is a little crammed. Like I hit my head coming I mean, into. I'm feeling great back here. Good. <laughs> I am very happy. You have a backseat doll to yourself. All right. Well, thumbs up, two thumbs down. No, no. No, you're Only all right. One. I'm okay. Middle I'm, thumb, kind I'm, of like a no, sideways. I like Mazdas. Oh, you're okay I with it. Up. Okay. I think just the, this car is small. This car is terrible. I don't even know okay. which one we're sitting in yeah, right now. Yeah, it is but, terrible. Okay. All right. Let's move on. 